The men in red respond to their latest emergency. We're in Transylvania, the city of Targu Maresh, northern Romania. This is the base of Smerd, the emergency rescue service. Smerd was founded just after the Romanian revolution in 1990 by Riyad Arafat, a young intensive care doctor who was shocked by the high mortality rates in the country's emergency wards. After leaving the Middle East as a teenager, he studied medicine in Romania. He's now a household name and one of the country's most popular figures. But as he explains, there is still much more that needs to be done to reform the country's healthcare service. We need more funding. We need to work a lot on development of human resources and on mechanisms to keep human resources in Romania. The third issue is the infrastructure. Our hospitals are very old, our infrastructure is very old, and we need to modernize it to make it more efficient. Thousands of well-trained medics have already emigrated westwards towards countries like Germany and France where they can earn much more money. And this hemorrhaging of much-needed personnel causes real problems, especially in rural areas. Today, Romania is short of an estimated 40,000 doctors. The country spends just 4% of its GDP on healthcare, half the European average. Until now, we suffer from the problem that we are not paying for the hospitals or for the medical care system exactly what it really costs them. So a lot of times we are paying less than the real cost, and this is what is happening and this is what is causing many times the arrears to appear. We meet Alexandra Dragusin and her daughter Ariana in Bucharest. Alexandra told us of her horrific experience in a public children's hospital. Ariana caught a virus and needed to be hospitalized. Her mother stayed with her overnight and so she was forced to sleep on a cold floor without a bed or mattress. There have been many reports that Romania's healthcare system suffers from widespread corruption and Alexandra confirmed that. The nurses um, didn't, I, didn't care about anything, only about the money. If you uh, wanted to uh, change, I don't know, the sheets of the baby's bed, you had to pay. Uh, otherwise, they uh, wouldn't uh, give you any attention. So. Uh, for everything, uh, for everything that I had to ask from a nurse, I had to pay, to put in her pocket something. Alexandra says that by chance she noticed that her daughter had been given the wrong medication, but that wasn't the worst of it. The virus made little Ariana vomit for many days, meaning she was highly malnourished and needed to be put on a drip. The nurse came to put the perfusion uh, she had no experience and I realized that she had no experience because her hand was shaking. I was very, very nervous because uh, the perfusion that she wanted to put into my uh, daughter's arm was broken. It was broken and I said, I can't believe that you want to put a broken perfusion into this child's hand, it's not possible. Just a few hours later, Alexandra discovered that a large part of the tube going into her daughter's arm had filled with air. She took the tube out herself, saving Ariana's life in the nick of time. Ariana made a full recovery, but after seeing this with her own eyes, her mother spoke out. She says urgent changes are needed to stop this from happening to someone else in the future. She's far from alone in her criticisms. Even the International Monetary Fund has tried to put pressure on Romania to reform its healthcare system. It's impossible to fund the healthcare system in its current form. It's a system which doesn't work, which doesn't ensure equal treatment for all Romanians. And it's very expensive. It's a five-hour drive from Bucharest to Targa Marash, a journey Dr. Arafat makes each week. As well as being Deputy Minister of Health, he works with Smirt at the weekends. After spending some time with the Paris Fire Brigade, Arafat decided to implement a French-style system in Romania. He has worked hard to turn things around after seeing how bad they were two decades ago. 
We could see as a student, we could see that patients are coming dead or are coming very late to the hospital and they are not assisted and they are coming with complications because of lack of proper emergency care until they arrive. While the brigade dashed to another emergency, Arafat tells us of a political scandal in January. As a guest on a live TV show, he criticised the government's plans to open the emergency services to the free market. The president of Romania called the programme while it was still on air, calling Arafat an enemy of health reform. And as a result, Arafat resigned. Hours later, thousands of Romanians spontaneously took to the streets in his defence. Once you start putting it into a commercial competition, you will start diminishing your public system and the integrated system you have now will become dangerously affected because then those who are the components of the system will start fighting against each other to take the market of each other. Years ago, the emergency services were all divided, but now Rayad Arafat has brought them all together under a single emergency number, ending confusion and speeding up response times. He showed us with great pride the Targu Maresh call center. Here we brought everyone together. You can see here that you have all the components, the police, the gendarmerie, the medical, the call takers of the 112, the fire service. And this means that we can manage the resources much better and we can manage the information we are getting much better, especially in case of mass casualty incidents. So it's higher efficiency and higher cost efficiency. Political instability has worsened the problem. Romania has had 22 health ministers in the last 21 years. This has made it impossible to move in a coherent direction. Arafat showed us how the Targu Maresh emergency unit has been upgraded. What we did here needs in fact to be done in most of this hospital, in most of its floors and most of the other hospitals. This is why we are asking for the future structural funds to come to have clear funds for developing the infrastructure and repairing the infrastructure of the health in Romania. The biggest problems are in rural areas, where there's a lack of personnel and reaction times are slow. Just a few weeks ago, a smurred branch was set up in the village of Rasiu at the request of Mayor Juan Vasu. He was able to get EU funding for water and electricity, but only Arafat could help with emergency services. The problem was the lack of money, because only one single village cannot finance everything. So we had to convince six other mayors from villages around to join in a collective rural cooperative society. It took 10 years to reach an agreement, but we got there and now we have emergency services. On its first day, a farmer was seriously injured by a horse. Smurd dispatched a helicopter and saved his life. This year, 20 more rural Smurd branches will be installed. Istvan is an Arafat fan. He has his own experience with the men in red. When my boy was hit badly by a wooden pole in the stomach, the ambulance came and took us to Turgu Muresh, and in no time he was right as rain. As the men in red are flying out on another emergency to save the life of a baby with a heart condition, Rayad Arafat is hoping that he can be successful in curing the critically ill healthcare system.